Hi, welcome to a LoRa tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmad Shamshiri. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use two LoRa cube cells, one as a transmitter, one as a receiver, both of them as a switch. We have a push button switch connected to the transmitter or TX, and then we have a relay connected to the RX at the remote location connected to this AC bulb. When I press it, the light is turned on and stays on. Press it again, remotely the light will be turned off via this relay. And also we, we can set it such that when you hold it, the light is on, and when you release it, it will be turned off. So as long as you keep it on, it continuously will be turned on. Or we can connect an LED. If I press it once, the LED will turn on. Press it again, it will turn off. So it can be on only when you press it and when you release it should turn off. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. As I promised in the introduction of the cube cell that I will create a remote switch and here I am creating that video and this, has, this will be defined as a transmitter. This will be defined as receiver. We are going to use a push button here. And this push button is connected using just, we just need a resistor here because this, I was reading the documentation, it doesn't have a pull-up like Arduino Uno and other Arduinos that they have. So it doesn't have it. We have to have a resistor here. I have separate video explaining why we need a resistor with push button. I will provide you the link. Watch that video so you know why we need it. It will be transmitter and that's it. So you need a push button, you need a resistor. This resistor is not critical, meaning it can be 1 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm. So there are so many values. Any value you have, it will work. And this will be just connected. Uh, to 3.3 volts I'm going to show you through the wiring. For the relay we are using this relay here this is a high level trigger and it is 5 volts we will power it up using the 5 volts pin of this module we will be powering it up using this 5 volts pin and ground and then we will have just signal so this will be turned on now this can be used to control AC load or DC load to clarify this is just a mechanical switch it will turn on and off a load doesn't matter you have AC or DC load the only thing that you will be consider is the rating here this relay has a rating it says 10 ampere at 250 10 ampere at 30 volts 10 ampere at 125 so they put 10 for all which means for any of the voltage you cannot exceed above 10 ampere so just divide the power by the voltage and you will get the current so the value that you get must not exceed above 10 otherwise this really will melt down and there will be a hazard of fire it will be very dangerous and also once you connect it to AC do not touch this area at all it's it will be very dangerous so be careful with that. I will be connecting a load here, AC, but you can connect an LED here. This LED has also a resistor. So you can put here 300 ohm to 1 kilo ohm resistor. It will just reduce the intensity of light. It will not have any bad effect, but for 3.3 volts, you can put here 150 ohm resistor also, and you will have very bright LED. Now let me explain the wiring for the uh, receiver or RX. The bulb is disconnected from power. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this AC bulb. This is a plug that will be connected to wall outlet and the light will be turned on. At the middle, at this point, I've disconnected the wire, one of the wire, the live wire here, and I've twisted them and prepared them these two uh, will be connected to the relay. Job of relay is to turn it on by connecting these two wires, turning on the light, and disconnecting it, turning it off. So this can be 
a bulb or a fan or any other load the same way the relay will connect it and disconnect it the two wires that i've just shown you for the bulb are connected to the this first and second pin of the relay this relay has three pin this side is negative the middle one is positive the left one is signal I have separate video explaining that with the demonstration I will provide you the link below this video and here the first wire is the negative it has been connected to this side this is ground pin the middle wire is the 5 volts green green have been connected to the second pin here this is 5 volts if you hold it like that the second pin here that's 5 volts and the signal pin is connected to GPIO pin 5 ground in here 5 volts second pin in here and GPIO 5 the signal is connected in here to pin number 5 here is a quick diagram that I did just did for this purpose this is our microcontroller or uh, uh, cube cell this is a GPIO pin number 2 it has been connected using 1 kilo ohm to 3.3 volts and this is ground and our push button switch is connected between GPI open in our case pin 2 and ground so when you press it this pin will be connected to the ground for the transmitter we are getting one wire from 3.3 volts the green wire to one pin of breadboard at this line and the other pin here is pin 2 GPIO 2 here it says 2 and it has been connected at this point between these two I've connected a 10 kilo ohm resistor you can connect from uh, around 1 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm doesn't matter it's just for keeping the value always high so this has been connected between these two this is as if we have a resistor connected between these two pins here here this is my push button switch and these two wires are for the push button I put one female one male here the male goes at this point where it is connected to pin 2 and the female goes here to the ground to the last pin so when we press it we are connecting this pin to the ground every time you press it We need to prepare an LED with a resistor. The LED has two pins. The longer pin is positive or anode. The shorter pin is cathode. And we need to put a resistor between something like 300 to 1 kilo ohm. The value doesn't matter because if you put larger value, the intensity of light will be reduced and there is no harm. So we will connect the anode, this longer pin, to the resistor and solder it and the other pin of the resistor will be connected to 5 volts and the shorter pin is connected to ground and here is the schematic for the above so we have 5 volts goes through a resistor and then to diode uh, to the LED light emitting diode this is anode and the, the side that has line is cathode and it will be connected to ground let me now explain the code this is the code for the TX or transmitter and this was the example of sending text from using a sender and receiver from Heltec. I have modified it. Here we are defining number 8. I am sending 8 using the transmitter and when the receiver receives 8, it will turn on your load. And here we have a TX delay. Sometimes when you press a push button, it takes um, some people need a little more time. So this was just for demonstration. By default, keep it 50, but you can uh, increase it, which I'm going to demonstrate it next. And then we're defining GPIO pin number two for the switch. On this line, set the frequency of your uh, radio. In Canada and US, we have 915 megahertz, and we have six zeros here. So set this accordingly. The rest you don't need to change unless you know what you're doing and the rest of the code I have not changed it inside the setup we have set the switch pin as an input and the rest I have not changed it and here inside the loop we check 
using digital read if switch pen is equal low which means if it is pressed then we use turn on RGB and we set it to the send color which is red and then we print, print this, uh, the word text on the screen with a value and this line is actually sending the text value that we set at the top of the code and here there is 200 millisecond delay and then we turn off the LED and then we keep the delay that we set if we set it for three seconds so for three seconds it will stay here and if you press it again it will not have any effect so this eliminates multiple pressing else then we turn off the, the RGB LED continuously again there is 200 millisecond after that and that was the sender and here here is the uh, receiver or RX here we define our x value this is a single code here as a character and we are defining a pen for the output for the relay gpio number five and output state so output state is a variable that is used by the code do not change it and this toggle if you want it to be toggled every time you press it once it goes on and then next time it goes off set this to true like that it will be toggled every time you press it if you set it to false as long as you press the push button it will be turned on otherwise it will turn off very important and here if you want some delay when the push button is pressed and the light is on you can hold it here for example on for three seconds and then put 3000 and when you release the push button it will stay on for 3000 and also for the off also you can put some time like three seconds two seconds or if you want it to act quick just make it uh, anything above zero depending on your region you can set your frequency the frequency that is used in us and canada is 915 megahertz we have six zeros here for the mega so depending on your region set this then we define here the pen as a uh, output pen as an output here and this line inside the loop we check output state a variable that was at the top of the code if it is equal true which we modified later we send the, using digital write the output moving high so this will turn on the relay or led or load that whatever, whatever you have and then we have a delay here if you set it at the top if the delay is three seconds it will be waiting here for three seconds if it is small it will just pass quickly else we set the output low which means no signal is received so that load should be off and then we have a, again off time delay and this was for on time delay and here we check inside the loop not toggle if it was not toggle then we send the toggle back to false so this is the case where you have to keep the switch pressed so the output is on so we need this line and here inside this on on our x done here we check rx packet we get the packet and we check it against the rx value which is 8 at the top of the code whatever value you set at the top of the code if the value matches then we, we use turn on rgb using the received so this will turn it green and then here we check if the setting at the top of the code is toggle then we get the uh, we subtract one from the output if the output was one so one minus one true means one false means zero if you don't know so if the output is true which is one so one minus one will be zero so the output will be switched to zero if the output was zero then one minus zero would be one so we are toggling or changing it else if it was not toggled then we set the output to true so this will turn on the light and, and that's why every time you hold it pressed the light will stay on or the load will stay on and then we have 200 milliseconds for the toggle and then we print also this text on the screen when we demonstrate it and here is how you uh, connect to this is a trick and you have to follow it um, first i'm connecting only the transmitter the receiver is not connected 
I've opened the transmitter code and go to if you go to tools and you see port select the port that is for the transmitter so now the transmitter is connected and if I open it and you see this one and if I if I press this push button it shows that it is sent sent so we know that that's for the so that's for the transmitter now still this is not connected open another instance of Arduino IDE by clicking at the start and wherever it is mine is here just open it it will open again TX because this is a separate instance I have to make sure that I'm opening the RX or receiver code now it says TX on this screen I'm opening it closing it and this is RX and now I'm connecting my RX and if you go now on tools port you will see another port other than 6 in this case it is 21 yours might not be also 6 it will be some other port but uh, so I'm this is selected if not we are selecting it now if I open the serial monitor for this and press the transmitter first RX mode and if I press it it says received 8 8 so the length of 1 so this way you can have two serial monitor opened here the, and, and here you, uh, you can open this COM6 here and it says COM21 if I press this you will see this is COM6 for the transmitter and this is COM21 for the receiver and if I press it it says 8 sent and here it says 8 received the packet 8 with a length 1. And here is the demonstration where the toggle is off. I have to keep it pressed and the light will be turned on and it stays on. As you can see, it continuously receives signal and uh, sends signal, the red, and it receives continuously signal. That's why this is on and also on the, on the, on the relay, you see the light is on here. So when I release it, it will turn off. And here, if you want, if you want it, to have a delay when you press it it stays on for three seconds let me just show you and now when I press it the light is on so you don't see anything but when I release it it will stay on for three seconds before it goes off And here now I change the toggle to true. When you set the toggle to true, you turn it on, the light is on, you release your hand, it stays on. And then press it, it will turn off. Now, now if you pay attention here for the transmitter, I set 50 milliseconds. Pay attention here. If you hold it, because I set that for 50 milliseconds, it will turn off and turn on because it's continuously sending. To avoid that and fix it, let's make it two seconds. So within two seconds, if you release your hand, it will not have any effect. So you, after two seconds, you can press it again. This has a delay of this many milliseconds to send this value, so this avoids uh, confusion. Let me show you here. So I press it and it's on. So if you see, if I press it twice, it doesn't work. Now, if I press it again, it will all go off. Press on. But if I do it within two seconds, it has no effect because it is keep keeping the system waiting. Now let me hold it. You will see after two seconds it will go on, and after two seconds it will go off. Of course, you will not do that. Or we can connect an LED. If I press it once, the LED will turn on. Press it again, it will turn off. And we can change it in the code so it can be on only when you press it and when you release, it should turn off.
or we can use it as a toggle switch. When I press it, it turns on and stays on. And then press it again, it will turn off.